Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in February of this year, I posted a video letting you know that Mozilla had introduced terms of use for the first time ever for the Firefox web browser. Video will be linked. Now in regards to the terms of use, if we head over to the nightly version, which is an early preview, Mozilla wants new users to know about the terms of service and terms of use through a notification during the setup process or onboarding as it's also called. And I mentioned that in that previous video. So this won't apply to existing users, but if you are installing the browser from the get-go, those terms of use will show up on the new tab page basically. Now, I'm not a new user to Firefox uh, in the nightly version where this feature has been tested, but Windows Report has posted some nice images of this process, and I'll leave the article from Windows Report linked in the description. And yeah, we can see that for new users or those creating new profiles in Firefox, Firefox will show a notification asking you to read and accept the terms of use and privacy notice, which also includes settings to manage or opt out of sending diagnostic and interaction data. Now, if we have a closer look at this process, we've got three main steps that will take place. So if you click on continue, it takes you to read our terms of use. You click on continue again, goes to the second step, read our privacy notice, click on continue again, goes to manage diagnostic and interaction data. You've got two options here. Send technical and interaction data to Mozilla and automatically send crash reports. So you will have that option at least to toggle these features on and off depending on your own personal use case and preference. So this is kind of like a first look at this whole process. And the terms of use obviously has generated quite a lot of negative debate. And this is how the process will kind of play out in real time when you are setting up a new profile or are setting up Firefox, a clean installation of the browser. So basically at the end of the day with this feature, Mozilla wants to show you those terms of service at startup with the ability, thankfully, to opt out of sending data to Mozilla. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.